Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mark Loeffler Experience. In today's video, we're going to see what Warren Buffett's doing. Is now the time to be buying stocks? All their famous investors, like the guy who called the 2008 crash, we're going to look at what he's buying and maybe surmise why they're buying these types of stocks. Warren Buffett is famous for this, that he says, be greedy when others are fearful. Well, there's a lot of fear out there right now. So are you being greedy? I know I'm trying to be a little bit greedy and I know I get the comments down below saying, hey, you shouldn't be greedy. Well, I mean, somebody has to buy this stuff, right? I mean, if nobody bought it, then there would be a whole other issue. But let's just go. I mean, and so we are up from one week ago. We were in extreme fear. Now we're only in fear. I mean, we're going to the right direction. What does that mean, though? Are we going to magically have this bull run in the stock market? I kind of doubt it. But, you know, is it a good opportunity to be buying stocks that are a little cheaper right now that we may want to hold long term in our portfolio? I mean, I think yes. Oh, and before I forget, I hope to see you guys all on next Monday, July 18th for our investor meetup. The link will be down below if you want to sign up. Uh, it is $15. There's food there. We have a couple drinks and all the money that is raised goes to charity. So we hope to see you guys there. All right. So let's just see. Is, is the market overvalued using the Buffett indicator? It is, but it's like anything. The market may be overvalued a little bit. But there's deals out there. There are fundamentally strong businesses that have, during this downturn, have gone too far. And that's just the long and short of it. And what, which ones are they? And let's talk a bit about what they've been buying and, you know, what that's going to look like for everybody. And we've gone through this before with the total value and all that type of stuff. We don't really need to see that. But here, here's where we're at right now. Um, this is where we're, we're, we're like one standard deviation outside of the bubble. We were two standard deviations outside. And by the way, people were greedy up here. No, no, no. They, and I've heard this over and over again from people. Like now they won't buy a home. But at the top of the market, they were like, oh, let's get in. Let's get in. I'm like, why are you rushing now? Now is the time to be rushing, in my opinion. And, you know, getting deals, negotiating. You know, those who have money, the cash right now, they're winning. Because the guys who are buying on credit, well, they need to slink home with their tail between their legs because credit's getting way more expensive. So Buffett's been buying oil. He has Chevron. He has Occidental. In this article, it says that's a possible bet against uh, oil prices staying elevated. I don't think so. Warren is a, is a simple Warren Buffett play where these companies are basically going back and saying, hey, we're going to use our free cash flow to reward investors. We are going to pay out dividends. We are going to buy back stocks. And yeah, we're going to take this. We're not going to overspend on growth we're going to be fiscally responsible. That's why Warren is buying these companies. If you ever read his book, Snowball, you know, he loves that, right? Like he was the advisor to the Washington Post because he owned 10% of the company and he was on the board of directors, but they didn't grow. They just grew that brand. Uh, they didn't buy radio stations, TV stations. They grew that brand and they did a lot of share buybacks and a lot of dividends. We know that Warren loves getting dividends hates giving him out because he thinks he can grow your money better than you can. And well, I mean, his track record would say that that is correct because he was sitting on hundreds of billions of dollars waiting for a buying opportunity where we would have bought at the top of the market. He's been buying more Apple. Apple's down right now because of the, you know, the, the market volatility. So with that, he's buying Apple. Paramount Global, I don't know what that is, and HP for the first time. He apparently sold Merck and bought it back. You know, he's obviously just holding his Bank of America, Kraft Heinz, Coca-Cola, American Express. 
So basically he's out of pharmaceuticals. He doesn't think that's gonna be good long-term. He also did buy, uh, well, he put an offer in on a company for 11.5 billion. Oh, well, we all know that Warren loves his insurance providers. So he did bid on casualty insurer Allegheny for 11.6 billion, you know, and he doesn't like to compete. He said, this is the deal. If you like it, great. If you go ahead and com if you go find, try to find other people, Oh, my deal's off the table. I mean, it is what it is, right? He has the money, he can really just do that. Like he can buy that, he can buy that cash and you know, obviously it just adds to the bottom line. They like insurance companies because they take the float, the money that's paid into the insurance company and invest it. And they get, obviously get a higher rate than, you know, the, the payouts. So therefore they make the money on the difference. What about Michael Berry? Like this guy is famous for, like if you search Michael Berry, B-U-R-R-Y, he called the 2008 crash. And he is famous right now for calling for a catastrophe on the market. He's probably shorting a bunch of stock. Not gonna go into that because that would just take too long. But he's actually buying as well. So he's bought Booking, Booking Holdings Inc., Warner Brothers Discovery, Alphabet, Cigna, Meta Platforms, which is Facebook, OVV, Live, I don't know what that is, Nexstar Media Group, Stellantis, Global Payments Inc., and Sportsman Warehouse Holdings. So he's added all of those in the first quarter of 2022. Obviously, he thinks that some of these stocks are undervalued. I mean, you gotta look at something like a Facebook. We're going into a time where interest rates are going to be more expensive. Therefore, debt's going to be more expensive. I don't think that like Meta has a lot of debt. Let's go and even though you can see that it's down four and a half percent today. Let's look at this, right? Total debt, $13 billion, which is up significantly from 2018 when they had like not much. But let's look at their free cash flow. They have $40 billion worth of free cash flow per year, 40 billion to go play with whatever they want because they're not, they are not doing dividends. What they might be doing is repurchasing stock for sure. So at the end of, they, they purchased, repurchased a lot of stock, which shrinks the total uh, amount of stock out there, which it should elevate the, the pricing. But again, it's one of those companies that that cash flow is not going anywhere. Is it going to grow that much? Eh, probably not. But are they going to do super well in a slowdown? Yeah, because again, their debt is a third of their cash flow. They could literally pay that off just like that. But I'm sure they probably have some great terms on it, right? They probably have it at like less than 1% and they're probably using that to go make more money at this time. I don't know, you guys let me know. Are you guys buying right now? I'm definitely dabbling in some stocks right now. Apple is one of them. I'm kind of out of oil stocks, which I'm glad. And I'm kind of looking at uh, getting back into Tesla right now. I do like that long term. But yeah, comment. And actually, you know, um, Facebook meta platforms is something I have been looking at. Haven't bought any more yet but uh, definitely considering it because I love it at this price. Like, let's check out the chart. Like the last time it was at this price, it was back at the, the beginning of the pandemic. And then before that, it was in 2019. So we're buying this stock at three years ago prices. I don't know. I think they've grown a little bit since then. I think they're gonna do very well. I don't know, that's just my opinion. If you guys have a different opinion, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Looking forward to chatting with you guys in the chat and have a great day. Looking forward to see everyone next Monday.